Yay! Hi, it's Danielle, your Pampered Chef Consultant. Today I am going to be featuring two products that I absolutely love. The first being the Pineapple Wedger. This is amazing and everyone should have them. My favorite fruit always will be and always has been pineapple. But because it was so hard for me to gut it, there was very little pineapple left by the time I got the skin and the core and all of that off of it. But now that I have the pineapple wedger, we have pineapple all the time and I absolutely love it. So today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to cut a pineapple with Pampers Chef's pineapple wedger. I will also be using the Pampered Chef line of knives. These are so sharp. Ask my husband, he cut himself pretty bad on one, right? Yep. He's back there filming. Okay, so first you're just gonna cut off the top. And then you're gonna cut off the bottom, which is great, like you don't eat this anyway, you know? So then we're gonna cut off the bottom. Just like that. So just barely cutting off the top and the bottom. Now you've got a center to lay it flat. You're gonna take the pineapple wedger. It's really sharp. So make sure you don't touch any of the blades. I learned that the hard way. And then you can see in the pineapple, there's you can see the core. It circles right there. And this is why this is so cool is that no one likes to eat pineapple when the core is still attached. It's hard and it doesn't taste good at all. Okay, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to cut up this pineapple, because pineapples are tough and they are hard to get through, but with the pineapple wedger, it's so easy. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So I'm going to line up the circle with the core, and then I want you to look at the rings along the outside. It is right up in to the skin, so you're not wasting any of the pineapple. You're just getting off the unwanted um, parts of the pineapple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna firmly put both hands on each side, and you're gonna jiggle it back and forth. That's the way I found works the best, but maybe it's because my arms aren't super strong, but it doesn't take much. So you're gonna jiggle it back and forth until you get to the bottom of the cutting board. That's it, super easy. This is the part you need to be careful because this is how I accidentally cut myself was taking the pineapple out, is you never want to pick it up from the bottom or try to pull something out from the bottom. You have to do it from the top. So you're gonna take your skins and they come out really easy. Watch this. They just pull right out if you've cut it all the way to the bottom. Look. You're just gonna pull away the skins. And look at that. I want you to see how much, it doesn't take away any of your pineapple. Whenever I cut pineapple, I wasted more than we ate. Just trying to get the skin off. All right, then you can jiggle it up like this. Look at that perfect cut. It's all the good stuff of the pineapple. Look at that. Amazing! And then look what you're left with, the core. And this is the part, I tried to pop the core out from the bottom and I ended up getting my finger because this is so sharp. So just always make sure you're pulling it out from the top. Then you've got all the parts that are unwanted and you can cut it however you would like. But look how easy this is. Seriously, pineapple is one of the most, we eat this more than any other fruit in our house now just because of how easy it is to cut and everyone likes it. So that's the pineapple wedger. Okay, now that I have my pineapple all cut up, I'm gonna store it in our bowls. The Pampered Chef stainless steel mixing bowls are my favorite because this is the smallest one, but it comes in a set of three. This one is eight cups and it has the measurements on the inside and it also comes with a lid, which is amazing. And it's for all three bowls come with the lid and different measurements. So I'm gonna put my pineapple in here, and then it's the perfect bowl to just throw in the kit, throw in the fridge, and then my kids know that they can come take from it whenever they want. I always try to have some fresh cut fruit in the fridge for them to just grab throughout the day. And then this is how the lid snaps on. Look. 
There you go. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is the apple wedger. Now you might be saying to yourself, I can get the I can get an apple slicer at any store. That is true, they do sell them, but what I want you to notice is the quality of the Pampered Chef Apple Wedger. I have had this forever and it is still just as sharp as the day I bought it. It works so good and it really cuts through the apples. I've seen ones before that like the handles break off or they're just not sharp and you're shredding the apple as you go down. I love this, it's dishwasher safe and it really gets the job done. So again, you're just going to line it up with the core Careful of your fingers from underneath. You don't want to cut those because it is sharp. So I just hold on to the handles and down. Look at that. And again, just pull the slices out from the top. It works so well. It is my, by far, my favorite apple wedger. Okay, so that is my presentation for today of two of the tools that I use all the time in my house. Pampered Chef is all about making your life easier these products have definitely made my life easier. If you like what you saw, give me a like and subscribe to my channel and there'll be more videos coming your way.